Russia is running out of troops and military equipment as Vladimir Putin's decision to invade Ukraine continues to be viewed by experts as the biggest catastrophe in modern warfare. It is not 100 days since Russian troops crossed the borders into Ukraine on February 24 for what the government was branding as a special military operation. Since then, Russia has faced crippling military losses as Ukraine's forces defended their homeland gallantly, aided by state-of-the-art military equipment provided by Western nations who actively opposed the Russian aggression. Putin has also faced huge international backlash and lethal economic sanctions as a result of his decision to invade. With the war now focused predominantly in eastern Ukraine following a Russian pullback in April, experts say that Putin's miscalculations continue with the Russian forces now perilously low on personnel and equipment. The conflict has reached a state of attrition, said Swedish economist and Russia expert Anders Aslund. Aslund told The Sun, at the 100-day mark, the war is at a stalemate. Ukraine has all the soldiers it can possibly need, it can mobilize up to one million men. Russia, on the other hand, has a shortage of soldiers. Because this is not technically a war, Putin cannot legally send in conscripts. Ukraine's military says more than 30,000 Russian soldiers have been killed in the conflict so far more than double the number killed in the almost decade-long Soviet-Afghan war in the 1980s. Aslan says Putin's position has been made weak in his own country, as grim details of the war emerge vast death tolls, low morale amongst troops due to poor supply chains, and dreadful living conditions on the ground. In addition, the corpses of at least 6,000 Russian soldiers abandoned by their comrades are thought to be in storage in Ukrainian morgues. Aslan warned of huge revolts in Russia as a result of Putin's decision to invade Ukraine and said the widespread opposition could result in a revolution. Russia currently controls roughly 20% of Ukraine's territory, according to President Vladimir Zelensky, who made an address to lawmakers in Luxembourg on Thursday, June 2. As of today, about 20% of our territory is under the control of the occupiers, Zelensky said. The Russian army has already destroyed almost the entire Donbass. This, once one of the most powerful industrial centers in Europe, is simply devastated. The occupiers are destroying it city by city. On Wednesday, June 1, Ukrainian forces commenced their retreat from Severodonetsk, which is the final Ukrainian holdout in the Luhansk Oblast, one of two states that comprise the besieged Donbass region. In its latest bid to arm the Ukrainian resistance, the UK announced it would be sending precision rocket launches to the Ukrainian military and providing the appropriate training to troops. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said, the UK stands with Ukraine and has taken a leading role in supplying its heroic troops with the vital weapons they need to defend their country. As Russia's tactics change, so must our support to Ukraine. These highly capable multiple launch rocket systems will enable our Ukrainian friends to better protect themselves against Russia's brutal use of long-range artillery, which Putin's forces have used indiscriminately to flatten cities. The announcement came as President Joe Biden said the U.S. would be sending a small number of medium-range M142 artillery rocket systems to Ukraine. The Kremlin responded by announcing that they were holding nuclear weapons drills in Ivanovo province near Moscow. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has accused the West of pumping up the Ukrainian nationalists with weapons, and said that any weapons headed for Ukraine would become a legitimate military target.